This is Omar Miller, and you're watching The Three Point Conversion. For Chris. Ryan right here in the front. Hey, Chris. I think, you know, for your abilities, game four wasn't great, and probably the first half of game five wasn't great. And that comeback, you played really well in that fourth quarter. Did anything sort of you notice differently that you could take advantage of tomorrow, or was it just shots started falling again? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I sort of gauge things off wins and losses as far as, as far as me. You know what I mean? It ain't necessarily how many points, assists, or whatnot. Uh, obviously, turnovers are something I try to keep down, but um, just just try to be aggressive. Obviously, making shots help, but being aggressive on both ends, not just just offensively, but defensively, too. Gina, in the second row. Hey, Chris, you know, we, we know that you write can't give up now on your shoes. That's even something some fans have kind of gravitated toward or, or caught on to just for these last couple of games. Um, just how much are you leaning into that mo motto even more just right now, just given what this this team is facing? Yeah, uh, throughout this entire playoff run, this is our first el elimination game. You know what I mean? So it's it's for real. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's no looking back now. We got to come out, uh, be ready to play and, you know, it's either win or go home. Have you seen your teammates kind of respond in, in that same way? Just that this is kind of a new a new thing. For yeah, you I think everybody's just been talking about embracing it. You know, uh, coaches said all season long, everything you want is on the other side of hard, and it doesn't get any harder than this. So we uh, know that this is a must-win game for us, uh, and none more than that. Now we got a hoop. Lisa? Um, Chris, uh, seems like every time uh, Chris Middleton, uh, if you – uh, defense him, he kind of like take advantage of the heights and do the isolation. So uh, for the next game, what is strategy like? What do you need from your teammates if you play the one-on-one -on -one with him again? Just keep making them be tough shots. You know what I mean? If, if, if you make it, it's, it's going to be tough. You know, so uh, I think they went in the whole third quarter without missing a shot. You know, so what they said, good offense beats good defense any day. But at some point, we got to make a miss. And I think that's what we're going to try to do in game six. Over here on the left side in the back. In the first two games when you won, you were taking almost 43 pointers a game as a team. The last few games, it's been a lot lower than that. Game five, you were even below 20. You and, and Devin are two of the great mid range scorers in the league, but do you think you need to extend your range back a little more to maximize those opportunities? Uh, I think we just got to figure out a way to generate more threes. If that's penetrating, it doesn't just have to be me and Devin. That's the way we didn't, we didn't play it all season long, is penetrating the gaps, finding Kale. Uh, Cam, uh, Jay, all the different guys on our team for threes. Um, and obviously when you lose a game and you look at it, you analyze, you're like, oh, I should have shot more threes. You know, it's a lot of what they call them Monday morning quarterbacks. But I, we, we, we've had to play a way that we played all season long and we're going to try to play that way game six. Dave in the center. Chris, there's an inherent pressure that comes with an elimination game in the NBA Finals, of course. But is there any, like, excitement for someone like yourself who spent literally your entire life trying to conquer the game of basketball, master it, tinker <laughs> with it? Like, this is, like, the ultimate level. It's definitely exciting. Um, something that Coach and everybody been saying, if you went to the beginning of the season and said we had a chance to be where we are right now, would you take it? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And... Uh, we get a chance uh, to determine the outcome. You know, it's not like the game is going to be simulated or somebody else got to play. You know, we get a chance. We control our own destiny. So I think that's the exciting part about it. And knowing who we have in our locker room, you know, knowing what we're capable of and all the things that we've been through all season long. So we, sh I mean, we, we wish we didn't have to wait as many days as we got to, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey, Chris, um, during the Nets series, P.J. Tucker had kind of told me that, like, the times he gets the most mad is when guys would help him on KD. Like, he wanted that one-on-one. -on -one. If KD scores, KD scores, but don't help. They're kind of doing something similar to Book, where they're not going to help as much. That's going to be, hey, we're going to live with this. If Book gets 40, Book gets 40. How do you try to get Book to approach that, knowing that maybe part of the reason why you're not getting as many threes is they are wanting him to be the scorer and not involve as many other people. 
Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know their strategy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not in their locker room. I don't know what they got going on over there. All, all we can control is what we do. So uh, we gonna continue to play our game. Book is one of the best to ever do this. So we we gonna, we gonna figure it out. Yeah. We're gonna go Dwayne, Sam, and then Vince. Chris, just going over game five, what do you feel like were a couple of things now that you've seen the film that's just like, Jay was just talking about breakdowns. He's like, we just can't have that. Is that what this simply comes down to or is it something bigger than that? Yeah, um, turnovers, uh, fouls at certain times. You know, every, every time we sort of made a breakdown or uh, missed an assignment, they made a shot, you know, so if we can limit the amount of mistakes that happen, look, you don't play a perfect game. Everybody would love to play a perfect game, but it's not that way. I think um, if we can cover up for, for each other and just have each other's back. And then at the end of the day, as long as we go out there and play hard and compete, we can live with that. Sam. Sam, you, sir. Um, two for you. The other night when you and Devin are side by side and and he gets asked about, are you frustrated for Chris? I mean, I can't read his mind, but I, the takeaway for me was that this is not about Chris. And a lot of your career has been Chris and his playoff pass and this and that. And was that sort of the spirit of why that question doesn't get answered? Uh, book back there. I think it was kind of like a common sense thing. You know what I mean? Um, this is like a team sport. You know, like this isn't tennis, this isn't golf. Uh, <laughs> I think we all want to win, you know? So I think it was sort of self-explanatory. That's just me. And then, and I know what your answer here is going to be, but because of your reputation, if you have games where you're not up to your level, folks start saying something must be wrong. I mean, health-wise, are you straight? Are you good? Are you dealing with stuff? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know nothing about that. I think for us, um, we sort of been in a bubble. You know what I mean? I, like not the NBA bubble, but as far as our team, you know, win or lose, we just stay connected with us and try to figure out what we're going to do. That's sort of what happens in a series, especially when you get to this point. So, yeah. Vince, last one in the back. Hey, Chris, uh, Milwaukee has had their share of playoff heartbreaks. You know, he just mentioned, you know, your own, but your team as a whole hasn't been through this sort of playoff process, heartbreaks, knowing how to get through it. How do you bridge that gap between giving them your experience, but not necessarily bombarding them with it, that it becomes overwhelming? Is there is there a line that you have to walk there? No, we just in it. I think I answered that before the series. Um, this is my first time in the finals. You know what I mean? So it ain't. Like, oh, we need to do this. We need to do that. I think for us, we, we're in it. You know, they always talk about staying in it and staying with the group. I think for us, um, all of this is part of it and we get it. But for us, it's, it's the practices, it's the time in the hotel together and just making sure that at the end of the day, we, uh, we play basketball. Thank you, Chris. All right.